Good evening and a warm welcome to CSAT Made Easy 2025 series where we discuss the most exam specific questions and concepts from the angle of the CSAT paper of 25 year. I am Sachin Gopnar and in our today's topic of discussion would be number system. I have told you that number system is the most important topic when it comes to the mathematics section of CSAT paper. Let us begin with the topic and as always we will begin with basic questions, learn basic concepts and gradually rise up to exam level questions. So, let us take a look at the first question. If a and b are multiples of a positive integer x, then a plus b is definitely a multiple of x. Is the above statement true or false? And justify your answer. This statement, it is true. Most of you might uh, say that it is true by intuition. However, we shall see why it happens to be true. Let a be a multiple of x, if it is a multiple of x, we can consider it to be p into x where p is an integer and b let it be q into x where q is an integer. If it is a multiple of x, then it we can express b as qx. Now, if you add a and b, that would be p into x plus q into x. We can take x common, right? So, it would be p plus q into x. So, a plus b is equal to p plus q into x. So, p plus q into x, it is a multiple of x. Therefore, a plus b has to be a multiple of x. So, b through this problem, we understood the basic concept that if a and b are multiples of a positive integer x, then a plus b must definitely be a multiple of x also. Let us go to the next question now. If 5x plus 24 is a multiple of a positive integer x, which of the following values can x have? Now, let us read the concepts based on which this question has been framed. Read the first concept. Whatever the value of x be, 5x would be multiple of x, yes. The given expression, it is 5x plus 24, right? It is 5x plus 24 and they are telling us that this 5x plus 24, it is a multiple of x. Now, this 5x, it is definitely a multiple of x, no problem there. Look at the second point. If 24 is also a multiple of x, only then will be 5x plus 24 a multiple of x, correct. If 5x uh, is a multiple of x, it is, it is definitely multiple of x. And if 24 is also a multiple of x, only then we can expect 5x plus 24, it to be the it combined the sum of them to be a multiple of x. So, 24 has to be a multiple of x. In other words, x is a factor of 24. If 24 is a multiple of x, it means that x is a factor of 24. So, now the question asks us, which of the following values can x have? Let us see. What are the uh, factors of 24? The factors of 24 are 1 into 24, 2 into 12, 3 into 8, 4 into 6, then 6 into 4, 8 into 3, 12 into 2, 24 into 1. So, 24 has totally 8 factors. Now, x can take any of these values. Look at 9. No, 9 is not a factor of 24. Look at 7. No, 7 is not a factor of 24. Look at 5. 5 is also not a factor of 24. But 3, yes, 3 is a factor of 24. So, one of the possible values of x is 3. So, no, x, uh, x is not definitely 3. 3 is one of the possible values of x. x can take uh, many values. Out of these 8 values, it can take any, any of the value. So, 3 is one of the possible values of x. Let us go to the next question now. It is a continuation of the same question. If 5x plus 24 is a multiple of a positive integer x, how many possible values can x have? In the previous question, they asked us, what one of they give us uh, four options and ask us to pick one of them to be a possible value of x. Here they are asking us how many values can x take. We have already answered this in the previous forum. X can take any of these eight uh, numbers. X can be 1, x can be 24, x can be 2, 12, 3, 8, or 4 or 6. So the possible values of x are 8. So x has totally 8 possible values. It can take any value. Then 5x plus 24, it will be a multiple of x. Then let us go to the next question now. This is your homework question. This question it was asked in the 2023 paper. Let x be a 
positive integer such that 7x plus 96 is divisible by x. How many values of x are possible? It is very similar to the previous problem. What we need to do is, first we need to, first we, we know that 7x is definitely a multiple of x. There is no confusion there. 7x, it is a multiple of x because it is 7 into x. There is x already here. Then if 7x plus 96, it has to be a multiple of x, then 96 has to be a multiple of x. So, uh, list out the factors of 96. How many factors are there for 96? That many values can x have. That will be your answer. Do answer this question and leave the answers in the comment section. We shall uh, discuss the answer and solution to this problem in the next class. Now it is time to discuss the homework question of the previous class. The ratio of a two digit natural number to a number formed by reversing its digits is 4 is to 7. The number of such pairs is, okay. This question tells us that there is a two digit number. If you reverse it, then the original number and the reversed uh, digit reverse number, they happen to be in the ratio 4 is to 7. How many possible pairs of such numbers are possible? So, how do we solve this one? Let us assume the number to be like this a b, it is a two digit number. If you reverse it, we get b a, again a two digit number, but, but with the digits reversed. Now, what is the value of a b? As per our decimal system, the value of a b, it would be 10 a plus b, because b is in units place, there is no change in its value. a is in tens place, so we need to multiply it with 10. Its value would be 10 a plus b. Similarly, what will be the value of b a? it would be 10b plus a because in b a, a is in units place and b is in tens place. Now, the question tells us that a b is to b a, they happen to be in the ratio 4 is to 7. In other words, 10a plus b is to 10b plus a, this ratio, it happens to be 4 is to 7. We know that we can convert ratios into fractions directly we will do 10a plus b divided by 10b plus a equal to 4 into 7. Now, we will do cross multiplication. 7 into 10a plus b is equal to 4 into 10b plus a. Let us simplify the equation. 70a plus 7b is equal to 40b plus 4a. Now, let us take all the a's one side and all the b's another side. 70a minus 4a is equal to 40b minus 7b. What is 70a minus 4a? That would be 60, 6a is equal to 40 minus 7, that would be 33b. Now, we will uh, take the ratio of a is to b. Now, 66a divided by b, that would be equal to 33 or a by b that would be equal to 33 divided by 66. Now, 33 divided 66 obviously. So, this should be equal to 1 by 2. So, a and b they are in the ratio 1 is to 2. Now, how many possible uh, digits do we have that uh, follow this uh, ratio? Let us see. a can be 1 and b can be 2. So, that is one possibility. Then a can be 2 and b can be 4, that is another possibility. Then a can be 3 and b can be 6, another possibility. Then a can be 4 and b can be 8, another possibility. But can we have 5 and 10? No, because if we go for 5 and 10, 5 is a single digit, yes, but 10 is not a single digit. In our assumption, b is a single digit. So, how many possible pairs do we have? 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6 and 4 by 8. So, these four uh, possible pairs are there. That is 12 is to 21, this should be 4, uh, 4 is to 7. 24 is to 42, this should be 4 is to 7. 36 is to 63, this would be 4 is to 7. And 48 is to 84, this would also be 4 is to 7. So, there are four such pairs which satisfy the given condition. So, our answer is option B, 4. I hope that you found this class. Uh, beneficial to you. If you like our classes, do watch us regularly. We upload one episode every alternating day. Thank you and most of all, happy studying.